sure Tommy Pham was not none too happy about not being in the lineup in game five, but he plays well with the chip on his shoulder. Yeah. And Pham sends one deep in the left field, and that one's going to fly. Tommy Pham, welcome back to the lineup, running around those bases with some anger. One to nothing Diamondbacks and a silencer here in the second inning. One nothing. D-backs shoot on top on Pham's home run. Yeah. Don't stop there. Keep it going. Get some guys on base now. And a shot to left. And it's going to be 2 nothing Diamondbacks. Back to back. Pham and Gurriel for the Diamondbacks here on the second inning. The Snakes are alive here in this second inning. Gurriel with his second home run of this postseason. And it's 2 to nothing Arizona. And now Thomas draws the walk. Now you got Longoria who very well can reach the seats. And he's due. It's one for 12. And that ball's ripped into the gap left center field. That's going to get down and to the wall. Thomas racing around the bags. He'll be sent home. And Thomas will score Evan Longoria an ambush. It's an RBI double, and it's three to nothing Diamondbacks. Then he's looking for an answer back here. Maybe don't need to get it all back at once, no. but uh, Stock, I would imagine just uh, some sort of counter punch would be a beneficial. Be yeah. yeah. Real Muto hits that one hard into center field. Thomas on the run. Can't get there. That'll go to the wall. Real Muto with a leadoff double. An absolute rope. Bring up Nick Castellanos and uh, it'll be a good time for him to snap his 0 for 15 drought. And a called strike three. Kelly burns off the bottom edge. Perfect pitch. Castellanos is a backwards K. Here's Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh turns it around. A base hit to right. Real Muto will be waved home. Carroll's throw all the way in. Run scores. Marsh to second. Phillies are on the board. His mom Sonia loves it. And a mistake by Carroll throwing it all the way in. Now Marsh in scoring position. And it's first and third with Trey Turmer coming up. And a swing and a miss. And Kelly pumps that fist in his glove. He strikes out Turner. And the Phillies strand two. But they are on the board. And now let's see if he gets his wheels going. Marte is 0 for 2. And Marte rifles one right field. That's down fair and into the corner it goes. Carroll can fly. He'll score easily. Marte's on his way to third. It's an RBI triple. Cattel Marte keeps it rolling. Four to one Diamondbacks. It'll be uh, Perdomo, Carroll, and Marte here as they'd like to add some more runs to this three run lead. And that one's lined into left field, a base hit. Perdomo, the switch hitter, slaps one to left. Perdomo with the terrific jump. Unfortunately, Corbin Carroll ended up swinging over the sweeper. Here's Marte who got a hit his last time up. A triple drove in a run. That's a base hit back up the middle. Cattel Marte is going to bring in Perdomo. And the Diamondbacks lead it 5-1. to one. And two quick outs for the Phillies here in the ninth. And last chance to keep it going will be Brandon Marsh. Three. And a called strike three. And the ball game is over. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have forced a game seven. We will do it tomorrow night at Citizens Bank Park. A convincing victory. Marte with a couple of RBIs. A 5-1 final. The Phillies have never had a game seven in their franchise history. These teams are tied after 162 games during the regular season. They are tied after six games in this championship series. And Corey Seager stands in. But he's at just 192 in this championship series. Seager hits a high fly ball. Deep right field. A bomb in the first. A mammoth home run for Corey Seager into the upper deck. And the Rangers grab a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. And a stolen base for Carter. And speaking of hitting it hard, John, here comes Adolis Garcia. Garcia gets up on it, drives it to left. Back it goes. Off the wall. Carter read it well. Here he comes. 2-0 Texas in the first. Adolis Garcia's tear continues. Two stolen base attempts in the first inning is like, wow. Garber lifts it to center field. McCormick a step back at first. Now comes on, and that ball's going to fall. The throw is not in time. It's 3 to nothing Rangers. Max Scherzer on the mound for the Rangers, who lead 3 to nothing as we start the bottom of the first. They'll bring the potential tying run to the plate. And that would be Jose Abreu. Bouncing ball and a fair ball. Pass Young that gets the Astros on the board. Altuve's in the score. A long single from Jose Abreu. 3 to 1. Adolis Garcia, who added another RBI his first time off. If the Rangers win game seven, John, he might be the MVP. Yeah. And drives one the other way, down the line, and it's fair, he's got another! He does! Adolis Garcia, owning October! An opportunity.
opposite field home run for Adolis Garcia. The home run streak stretches to four. The Rangers lead four to one. Here's Bregman, 35 extra base hits in his postseason career. High drive, left center field, Carter on the move, that blows off the top of the wall and gone. Bregman hits it out, four to two. And the 19th home run of his postseason career, that ties him for six all time. Carter walked in, scored in the first, grounded out in the second. Rangers by two, chance here in the fourth. Carter pulls one down the line. That is fair. The kid comes through. Young's in to score. So is Simeon. Two-run double for 21-year-old Evan Carter. And now it's Garcia. They are on a mission. His 2-0 is over the plate and grounded through the left side. A base hit. Seager's in. Here comes Carter. He'll score without a throw. Adolis Garcia is three for three and has knocked in four. It's eight to two, Texas. Adolis Garcia has a new American League Championship Series record for RBIs. One on two out, top of the six, and that brings up Nathaniel Lowe. Really been in a little bit of a funk as well. The three one. That ball is hit high and deep into right field. Tucker going back. He's at the wall. He leaps, and it is gone. Nathaniel Lowe with a two-run home run. He puts Texas into double figures. Marona Chapman is on here to face Jordan Alvarez. Cracked in the ground and through. The incredible Jordan Alvarez has his third hit of the game, and he's driven in Alex Bregman to make it 10-3. Unbelievable. 15th RBI for Alvarez this postseason. Here comes Adolis Garcia. See if the crowd has any energy left to boo Adolis now. And the pitch swung on in a high fly ball hit to left field. This is deep. Back is Brantley at the wall. He's looking up, and that ball is history. Garcia has hit another home run. Impossible. His fifth in the last four games. He owns Houston. What a historic postseason he is having. And it's Jose Leclerc. Obviously not a safe situation, but it is fitting that as the Rangers try to close this out. Jose Altuve stands in, and Leclerc's first pitch, and Altuve hits it high in the air, deep to left field. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it is gone. And then the Landry's Crawford boxes for Jose Altuve, his second home run of the series off Jose Leclerc. Now Jordan Alvarez, he's reached four times. Swing and a miss, and Alvarez is the first out of the night. Astros have two men on with one out of the ninth, trailing 11 to four. On a 3-2, Brantley pops it up. Short left field. Seager is out, he gets there, and the Astros are down to their last out. And the Rangers are an out away from their third American League pennant. Grounded a second. Two years removed from losing 100. The Rangers have won the pennant. For the first time since 2011, the Rangers are going to the World Series. They are the champions of the American League toppling the Houston Astros. What an amazing year this has been.